I just wanted to say a few words in support of the campaign that the Crown Prosecution Service have started along with a number of the support groups called Consent Is. As the national lead for rape for the last three years, um, it's very clear to me and it's very clear to everyone working with us that consent sits at the heart of every investigation and every prosecution. And we've been working really hard with the Crown Prosecution Service to try and improve the way that we investigate consent. We will always want to be victim focused in any investigation, but where we're also going now is being much more focused on the actions of the suspect and all the circumstances around any, any kind of issue of rape that we are investigating. Consent has to be given for someone to have sex lawfully, and, and I honestly don't understand why you would want to have sex with someone without them consenting, and it will sit at the centre of the investigation and any prosecution and the trial. And people need to ask themselves the question, someone cannot give consent if they don't understand the circumstances of what's going on. They can't consent if they're so intoxicated or drunk that they couldn't make a rational decision. And if someone's being threatened or coerced, they can't give consent. In none of those circumstances is that consent to have sex. And anyone who carries on in those circumstances is committing an offence and putting themselves at real jeopardy.